guys, it's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. Um, so today we're going to do things a little bit different. Um, we usually have a Sunday stock talk and it breaks down kind of me just um, responding to technical analysis that the team sends out to me. Um, I'm going to do one analysis, but it's going to be on an overall market and it's going to be the commodity of gold. Um, other than that, I'm just going to answer some of your questions and then I'm going to kind of get into the um, what I wanted to talk about this week. It's just a new way I kind of wanted to go about uh, for Sunday's stock talk. Um, I think that it's been very repetitive and with technical analysis I can kind of just do that for each one of you individually. Um, and I and I think in the group, I mean, we've we've have we have a better understanding of how to do it ourselves now. Um, so I don't kind of have to do it for each every, and every one of you uh, with all the stocks that you guys choose. I, I mean, I'd be more than happy to if that's what you guys would you know like me to continue to do. Um, but I can kind of spread that out with throughout the week. Um, and I want Sunday stock talk to be again a recap um, of the market and kind of give us a better understanding and keeping us on track on what it is that we're here to do and again that we're here to make money but the best way to make money is to understand you know how the market is doing overall or and what we're investing in so i wanted to talk about how i use the concept of trading stocks and i implement it into different businesses or different markets such as you know real estate um, buying cars and selling cars uh, being a dealer um, as well as just having your own business. Um, so if you guys, you know, TechBud Solutions is a group I started to help individuals have a better understanding of how to invest as well as being able to share and brainstorm ideas. It's kind of really focused on or, you know, solely focused on um, trading stocks, but it's, it's expanding. Um, and now we're getting people that are asking more questions about different markets just because now they want to implement you know, or use the same concept that we use when it comes to trading stocks and I use it for, um, just different markets. So um, a lot of you want to start your own business. And I think that's a great idea and to have a better understanding. I'm just going to talk about what's worked for me. So I'm going to start off by saying, if you guys haven't done so already, um, there's a video that I did about kind of just a really brief, um, more of a sad video of when I bought my house or when I was, you know, getting all the paperwork done when I bought my first house at age 20. Um, moved out to Arizona, originally from California. Uh, to pursue, you know, kind of just my dream of investing. Um, moved out from my parents' house, so I started at age 20 and came here to attend Arizona State University at the Polytechnic campus. I was actually dorming there or living on campus, um, and I was working with a real estate agent in efforts to buy my first home. Ended up closing, um, bought my first house, and then ended up buying my second house mid this year, and now working on my third house to close the you know year strong. So I'm gonna talk about you know the same concept of when it comes to investing that I've been able to use when it comes to real estate, as well as you know many of you know me because of the GTR I owned um, or own and um, the BMW M3 and how I switch cars so often and I end up making a profit off of them. Um, I think that's something that you guys, you know, might be interested in. If it is, you know, let me know and I'd be hap uh, happy to kind of make a video solely for, for that specific topic. Um, but I'm going to give you guys a brief, you know, understanding of what it is I do. So when it comes to buying and selling a stock, what, what is it that you're doing? Uh, first of all, you have to understand, you know, what it is that you're buying and selling. So if you don't understand, then you shouldn't be buying it. Just like if you don't understand, you know, the car that you're buying and you can't, you know, really determine if it's a good buy um, compared to a bad buy, you know, at the certain price point, then you should not be buying that specific car um, or that specific stock, especially if you're in an, your, your purpose is to invest in it in the sense of buying it and selling it for a profit. Um, when it comes to gold, since um, Jason Thomas asked me about this. Um, how's gold doing? So every year within the last, you know, three months of the year, um, as you guys can see, there's always a dip in the market of gold. Uh, so understanding that, um, you really have to think, you know, is gold going to do well right now? Well, based on its history, no. Um, it really tends to pick up during the early months of the new year. So for 2017, January through, you know, March or April, that's when you see the biggest, you know, rise in the prices of gold. Um, and, you know, those are just trends. So based on going off of those trends, do I believe gold is going to continue to drop? At this certain price point, it's hitting a safety that it should bounce back up on that I'm seeing doing a little technical analysis on the graph itself. 
Do I know 100% that it's gonna bounce? No, I don't. Uh, do I, can it continue to drop? Yes, where's the next safety? It's at 1050, which is what I see for the price of gold. And this is the price of gold in the United States. So it's different forever, you know, different um, just market or economy that you're in. So us day trading in um, specific markets uh, or companies that have to do with gold itself, um, understanding the big picture and understanding the market that you're investing in is very important. Um, so with us trading, you know, NUGT, GLD, and a couple other penny stocks that are um, gold related, um, it's really good to understand, you know, the specific market that you're investing in. Um, because if you see these histories, um, I didn't look far back enough when I initially made the decision to invest in gold. But yeah, you do see a drop. Gold is, you know, a commodity that is very valuable. So it usually tends to pick back up. Do I think it's gonna pick back up to over the price point that I bought it at, or if not exceed this? I definitely do. Do I mean, does that mean for you, um, you know, to invest it or hold on it? Definitely not. I mean, I'm kind of providing you or kind of just talking about um, my own opinion on what I think about gold. Um, as of now, I pulled out completely on gold. Um, and I continue to buy in at low points and sell at high points. But to, again, to have a better understanding of how the overall market of gold is doing is very important. And I, you know, highly suggest with whatever market or whatever business you're deciding to invest in, if you don't understand the overall big picture, if it's technology, commodity, oil, um, you know, health, anything, like you need to understand how the overall market is doing. So I've been able to develop my team and what we do is just like stocks, I make multiple offers, just like a stock, I make multiple offers at my own price range. So I set limit orders when it comes to buying a stock and I put in multiple offers to certain houses and effort that one gets filled. And if one gets filled at my specific price point, I would consider that a good buy. And with that, I can sell it in a return, in return for a profit. Same with the stock, I buy at a price point with my limit order that's at my specific price point in effort, you know, to sell it for more. Does it always work? You know, it's a lot harder to do with stocks. I think it's a little bit easier to do just because the prices don't fluctuate so much when it comes to the housing market. Um, focus a lot on foreclosures and short sales, but you have to deal with a lot more money on hand, so it ends up being a little bit more difficult if you don't have access to the funds. But understand the overall concept and kind of like how it works that is very important. And for those that aren't in that business yet, just kind of think or try to, you know, brainstorm on how you can implement or use the concept you learn when it comes to investing in stocks and implement it into your own specific business or market. It's the next market that you want to invest in. Why limit yourself just with that? So if you can implement or use the same concept, uh, for investing and implement it to different businesses or different markets, to make money doing that, then why not? Um, I'd like to hear your guys' ideas. I'm gonna put my contact info down below as in my email. Uh, you guys can feel free to contact me as well as the group that I have, Tech with Solutions. It's a free group you can join. It's a networking group. Also, if you wanna get started when it comes to trading penny stocks, that is the group that you join. The link is gonna be down below. Um, it starts out with the Facebook group. Once you join, you send me an email at techbuds at mail.com and then I respond once you guys ask me for the welcome doc and that provides you with all the links to our social medias and also group messages where we communicate with one another um, i use this concept and although it's very simplified if you guys you know want me to elaborate a little bit more on it i definitely will um, but you guys have to ask me because i don't know if you guys even care about this so i use it in multiple different you know aspects of business when it comes to buying and selling cars um, that's why i've been able to you know switch cars so often because Although I'm switching cars and people think it's a waste of money, I've been able to use, you know, the same concept of trading and implement it to find and sell in my dream cars. Uh, when it came to the GTR, you know, M3s, Mustangs, anything. And I can continue to do that and not lose any money on it and actually make a profit off of it. And, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I love to do, being able to help people, being able to, you know, pursue my dream of being successful and helping people while doing so. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Um, TechBud has been something that, you know, I've been blessed with and, you know, thanks to God, it, it's been working. So I want to continue to try to help you guys in any way that I can. Um, so let me know what you guys are interested in and that will give me a better understanding on, you know, how we can work together. 
Um, I am working with a couple different people when it comes to kind of their startups and their businesses, and I'm really excited for you know what TechWords has brought into my life, and I'm not, and I know a lot of people are benefiting uh, for what it brings into their life. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, again, all our um, you know links are going to be provided down below. If you guys can subscribe or at least you know like the video to give me a better understanding of if you guys enjoy this content or if you guys. Um, prefer this specific you know way of doing sunday stock talks compared to the previous one you know let me know if not then you know let me know as well um and then we'll go back to the old way so thank you guys again i hope you guys had a good you know thanksgiving break and a good thanksgiving with your families and loved ones so hope you guys have a good sunday and let's start the week off on a green note take care